Hello everyone, I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Sanchi Dudeja, I am working as software developer for at Adobe and here I present the second question of the weekly contest 288, minimize results by adding parenthesis to the expression. I will be walking you through the problem statement as well as few examples by the presentation. So let's quickly hop onto it and let's try to understand how are we going to solve this problem up. Lead code 2232 minimize result by adding parenthesis to the expression. It's a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. Also in case if you have any doubt understanding this problem or anything you want to ask from me in general, please feel free to ping on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded. Both the links are mentioned in the description below. Now let's get back to the question. Here in this question we are given an expression wherein the expression is of the, of the format number 1 plus number 2. What we do we need to do? We need to add a left parenthesis in the left part of the expression starting from the 0th index up till the plus sign and we need to add one right parenthesis in the right part of the expression starting from the plus sign up till the termination of the string such that the expression evaluates to the least possible value. I hope these statements and the rules are clear to you. And now let's walk through a test case. So here we have the expression as 247 plus 38. The left part has three digits in it, 247. The right part has two digits in it, three and eight. And this is a plus sign that we can see in the middle of the expression. Now what do we need to do? We need to add a left parenthesis in the left part of the expression, which is this one, and a right parenthesis in the right part of the expression, which is this one. So let's hypothetically assume that we added the left uh, parenthesis over here and the right parenthesis over here. Now after adding the left parenthesis and the right parenthesis, you will carefully see that four variables are getting introduced in the system. The first one is n1 which belongs to the number before the addition of the left parenthesis. Here in this case it turns out to be 2. The second variable is n2 which is starting from the insertion point of the left parenthesis up till the first plus sign uh, here n2 is represented by 47 the third variable is n3 which is starting from the plus sign up till the insertion point of the right parenthesis and here in this case 3 represents n3 and the last one is n4 which starts from the next pointer to the right parenthesis till the termination of the string. Here in this case it is represented by 8. So if we carefully identify these four variables then the expression can be evaluated. And what do we do? We will try to look out for all possibilities of n1, n2, n3 and n4 and then we will try to identify the one that is giving us the smallest value. So it, it's a greedy kind of an approach that we will look out for. We are interested in finding out that particular value that is least in nature and then we will store the corresponding insertion points where we added the left parenthesis and the right parenthesis corresponding to that smallest value. So this is the crux of the problem and if you carefully observe then the problem boils down to identifying these values of n1, n2, n3 and n4 appropriately and it's all the game of pointers. How? Let's try and look at each part one by one. First we'll go for the left one and then we'll go for the right one. Here in this case, the left part would be 247. So let's write left part as 247. And how can you identify the termination of the left part? It's really simple. You see, as soon as you see the plus sign, that will correspond to the position where the left string is getting terminated. So the left part would start from the zeroth index and it will go up till uh, to the index where you see a plus sign minus one. So these are the coordinates of the left part. What are the coordinates of the right part? The coordinates of the right part would be the index where you see the plus sign and you add one to it, add one till the time you don't see the end of the expression. So I'll write length here. So this is a place where I see the plus sign. You add one to it, you reach over here and starting from this position up till the termination of the expression is your right part. So we have successfully identified both the coordinates. The left part has 3, 247 value and the right part has 38 value. Now uh, let's go and loop over the left part and the right part independently so that we can identify the possible values of n1, n2 corresponding to the left part and n3 and n4 corresponding to the right part. It's really simple. It's just the game of pointers. 
we will simply use two pointer approach to identify all possibilities of n1 and n2 from the left part how let's walk through it so one of the possibility from generated from 247 for n1 and n2 would be 1 n1 would correspond to 1 and n2 would correspond to 247 the second possibility would be n1 would correspond to 2 and n2 would correspond to 47 and the third possibility would be 24,7 so these can simply be generated using a two pointer approach pretty straightforward now let's look at the right part it's again really simple in the first possibility you can have n3 as 3 and n4 as 8 in the second possibility you will have n3 as 38 and n4 as 1 so these are all the possible permutations for the right part and the left part and then you can use this expression n1 into n2 plus n3 into n4 to actually derive the smallest possible value from it to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i've just talked here it's a game of pointers so let's shoot for it here i've created four integer values one for keeping track of the smallest value that has been evaluated the other one for identifying the insertion point for the left parenthesis the third one for identifying the insertion point for the right parenthesis and the last one is the index where my plus sign occurs so i iterate through the entire string i check at what index is my plus sign occurring i break out of the loop and update my plus sign index to y going ahead i have created two for loops here one for generating all possibilities of n1 and n2 corresponding to my left part and other one for creating all possibilities of n2 and n3 and n4 corresponding to my right part so here I have written each of the expression one for n1, one for n2, one for n3 and one for n4. So I'll be walking you through these expressions but let's walk through the core crux of the problem wherein I evaluate the expression n1 into n2 plus n3 into n4. It's same that was shown in the presentation. In case my current value is less than my smallest value that means I'm, I'm able to figure out a lower smaller value. As a result of which I update my smallest value to current val and I update my left index where the left parenthesis to be inserted at i and the right index also gets updated to j plus 1. So uh, once I iterate through all possibilities I have the appropriate pointers and the smallest value where I am seeing the least value for the entire expression after adding to both the parenthesis the left one and the right one. Now comes the question, how are we generating these n1, n2, n3 and n4 values? It's really simple guys, uh, It's we, I'm just extracting uh, the substrings from the expression string and n1 will correspond to starting from 0 up till i, n2 will correspond to starting from i up till plus index, n3 will correspond to plus index plus 1 comma j plus 1 and n4 will correspond to substring starting from j plus 1. Also I have written certain corner cases obviously if my n1 length is greater than 0 then only I should parse the string otherwise I should assume it to be 1. Similarly in the last case as well if my n4 string is of greater length than 0 I should parse it into integer otherwise I should assume it to be 1. Once I break out of the loop I recreate substrings uh, and I finally build my answer string. So in the first go I am adding the part starting from the 0th index up till the left index then I go ahead and append the uh, le left opening parenthesis. Then I create, identify the middle part of the expression n2 plus n3 starting from the left index up till the right index. Finally, I append the right parenthesis and in the last I append the n4 part of it starting from the right index till the termination of the string. Once I'm done with this, I simply return the answer string. So let's try this up. Accepted. Awesome. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.